Hi everyone. I've made a lot of Chinese patterns recently based on photo references and 2D graphics I found on the internet. And I've just finished putting all of those patterns into a Cinema 4D library that I would like to share with you guys. In this video, we're going to have a quick look at what's in the library. Please make sure to check the video description for the download link. What you will get is a Cinema 4D library file. And I've made these patterns in release 18, but the library will work in newer versions as well as older versions of Cinema 4D. I'm going to open my content browser. And I've put my library in the presets folder for this video. It's called Chinese Patterns. If you open it, you will see two subfolders. One is called CHP Polygon Objects and one is called CHP Splines. So each of the 331 patterns I made comes both as a polygon object and as a spline object. And I've sorted these patterns according to their shape. And we've got circles, octagons, rectangles, and squares. And if you click on one of these folders, you can see all the patterns. And I've made previews for each of these patterns, so you can see what they actually look like. All of the polygon patterns are 100% quads, except for one that has a couple of triangles because it didn't make any sense to turn those triangles into four-sided polygons. But the rest of these patterns is all quads, no triangles, no n-gons. Let's add this circle spline to the scene. I'm also going to pick the same spline from the spline section of the library. Let's have a look at these. I'm going to move the spline version over a little bit. And the splines actually were a byproduct of the polygon versions I did, but I did make proper splines. If I select the polygon version here, I can do an outline selection and use mesh commands, edge to spline to get a spline version of this object. The problem with this is that it's not a parametric spline. And also it has a lot of points like here that you need for the polygon version in order to connect the geometry, but you don't need these points for the spline version. So I've cleaned up those splines and for all the patterns that are circular or have round elements, I have actually created proper spline versions. So what you will get for the spline version is a parametric spline and you can extrude that. And you can change the resolution of the spline just like you could with uh, one of the Cinema 4D parametric splines in here. So I hope you'll enjoy this library and you'll have a use for it occasionally. Thanks for watching this video and take care.